I respect the 3 a.m. gang, to be honest with you. Are you out in Europe? I know my schedule is absolutely trash for all European viewers, so anyone who managed to make it from, from Europe right now, I respect you greatly. You are a more, uh, either more insane or more uh, resilient than I am. Probably both, but how are we all doing tonight? Lunchtime viewing from Australia. We got folks from all around the, all around the world here. Norwegian, Ukraine, you love to see it. I'm doing good, thank you. I did mess around with some settings um, between streams here, because I wanted to see if I could like iron out some of the technical issues that we've been having. Uh, Pyrus, yes. I actually replied to your tweet, like, literally maybe half an hour before the stream here. Uh, it's amazing art. <laughs> I don't, I don't have my thing set up to show it here on stream. I actually asked you for permission to show it on stream, but... Uh, Pyrus Inc. drew some amazing fan art of our little friend Tim Beeb over on Twitter. So if you're on Twitter, definitely go see if you can find that, because it is amazing. I'll probably show it next stream if I can. Like I was saying, though, I did mess around with some uh, some settings between streams. Thank you for the Super Chat 69 Infiltrator, by the way. Welcome back. Welcome back. I recognize you. I recognize a lot of the names here. A lot of return viewers, which is pretty sweet. The, ma the main setting that I messed with, actually, between streams... Because um, one, thi one thing that I'm going to be working on is the stability of the stream, because I know there were some issues with that last time. And... Ooh, Stardew Valley Overture. It's a, ran it's a random selection, so it's kind of weird that it went to that one, but I do remember you, Epic Cow. Um, yeah, I have in. I'm going to be setting up a wired internet connection when the cables arrive tomorrow for that. So hopefully that'll help fix the stability. For now, we're going to be kind of running. I'm still I'm still streaming off of uh, Wi-Fi, but. But the other main setting that I'm that I wanted to fix, and this is where I'm going to need your help with this, is that I tried to fix a little bit of the stream delay, um, because for me, I would say something and then I would see chat respond to it like 20 seconds later, which is not ideal. Uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way, Lyman. Shout out to Tim Beeb, absolutely, we love Tim Beeb. So I'm going to need your help with this one. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna. I want. I want everyone to load up a clap emoji in their chat box. Don't type it yet, though. And then when you hear me clap, I'm gonna count down to like a three, two, one clap thing. I want you to to put those clap emojis in chat. And then we'll see what kind of delay we got going on here. I don't know if I fixed to the or like how how much better it's gonna be, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try here. So. All right, if we got all our, everyone got their, their emojis loaded up, here we go. Three, two, one. That probably sounded awful on the microphone, but there it was. Okay, that was, that, the delay is a little better. Look at all these claps, that was amazing. The delay is a little bit better, because last time it was legit, like, 20 second delay. This time it's more like 5, 6 seconds, I think. So I think that's definitely more manageable for me. We will, uh... We will go with that for now, because it's not like I have much of a choice. Either way, I think it's time to actually, to actually get back into the game here. So let me go ahead and close out of this. Let's see where we're at here. You're going to get a little bit of a sneak peek at my other save files, which is kind of scandalous, but... Um, if the thing... Hold on. Why is my... There it is. Okay. It took a second Took a second for the, the screen region to load in, apparently, but there it is. Hopefully you can all see that now. Um, pay no attention to these other folks. There's there's no big deals there. Nothing, nothing to see there, folks. Hello? Okay. <laughs> I clicked off of the Stardew Valley for a second, so it was like all paused and weird. But we are back. We got Tim Beeb staring at us from the bottom of our screen there. It's a little unnerving, I'm not going to lie, but 
He's my special boy. He looks much better in Pyrus' uh, scan art. Scan? Did I say scan art? I meant fan art. Where did that? I'm tired today. I'm sorry. I did get just get back from a day at work. But at that day at work, on my lunch break, I did brainstorm some ideas for goals because the first stream was a little bit scatterbrained. I don't know if you could tell. Chloe Jr., yeah, don't worry about that. Um, was a little bit scatterbrained. Today I have some loose goals that I want to go for. I want to try and get to like at least like level 20 or something in the mines. That might be like too easy of a goal. We'll just kind of play it by ear from there. I also want to save up money and resources to get a house upgrade. I don't know if I'll get it this stream, but that is going to be a big big part of my next uh, plan. Let's get some like let's go outside here so we actually have some like music or something. Or at least some ambient noise, whatever it is. Hello, Phantasm Rock. Welcome to the stream. Mr. Phantasm Rock, my apologies. Um, yeah, I want to get the money and resources for a house upgrade because in order to get the wheat flour and sugar that we need for this challenge from the supply crates on the beach farm, it needs to have at least, we need to have at least one house upgrade. So any supply crates that I see, I'm not going to break open until I get that first house upgrade. I don't know if that like works if or if like the supply crate drops are set from when they first appear. Um, but just in case, I'm just going to wait. So if we do see any, don't worry about it. Um, what other goals did I have? I wanted to, I need to remember to buy a strawberry, a strawberry seed at the egg festival. That is important, although it's, it's not going to be my only egg festival, I assure you that. We're not going to get this done year one because it's literally impossible. So we will have other opportunities. The last goal that I had in mind is I want to try and get as many of the fish that I can in this spring for uh, for these bundles here. So I know I can get the sunfish, catfish, shad. The tiger trout, I think I have to wait for a different season. Um, I can definitely finish off this crab pot bundle, especially because I have the recipe for crab pots now, but I think I can probably just get one of these crabs from like a rock crab in the mines. The supply crate contents do not change each day. Okay, that's good. Welcome, Blade, by the way. Thank you for dropping into the stream. That is actually very good intel, so I can actually just, I can just safely open those then. That is good to know. Um, I think I can only get the sardine here. Uh, can't get any of these guys. Well, actually, the octopus... No, octopus is like summer or something, right? Uh, I can get everything here except the sturgeon. And I can get these two, but I don't think I can get the walleye yet. So yeah, we're going to go ahead. We'll play that by ear as well for now. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like this, kids like me are picking parsnips. And petting our dogs. Because how could you not? Still asleep? What are you doing? Wake up with the sun, Tim Beeb. It's 6.20 a.m. already. Afternoon. It is afternoon for you, isn't it, Blade? I forgot you're, you're down there in uh, New Zealand, I believe. All right. I don't know why I'm necessarily stockpiling these parsnips. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've actually played Stardew Valley, like, the intended way, quote-unquote. So it's going to be... I'm still going to be get kind of getting my sea legs, even after the first three hours from the last stream. But for now, I think... Let, actually, let me check the uh, TV here. What's our luck look like today? Ooh, okay. That is my sign to go to the mines for sure and get started on that. Because I never got a chance to do that last stream because I was getting all those bad luck days. What's this? This horseradish is for George, right? Yeah, I remember that. I knew I left that in my inventory for a reason. <laughs> What's the intended... You know what? You got me there. Stardew is a game full of no intended ways, really. Or at least the intended way has been lost to time at this point. So we're going to go ahead and take those and those. Um, let me get this. Because I don't want to forget to water this uh, green bean. It's very important that I keep watering this green bean. Because I really need one. At least one. I should definitely get more than one. So, um, Let's save my energy as much as possible for the mines here. Go ahead and drop this in. Woof woof. Yes, Tim Beeb. I hear you. Um, I would like to get this, you know what, is this, this is due today, right? Final day. If I don't get, make it to him, it's fine. I want to preserve as much inventory space as possible. Actually, maybe I should get a chest. What do you guys think about that? Like, should I get, should I get the wood for a chest so that I have, like, I can put that outside the mines for, like, extra space or whatever? 
I've seen people do that before. I've never done it myself because I'm such a novice <laughs> at this sort of thing, but I did get a dog. Chest at the mines, yeah. I think that's probably for the best, especially because I'm not going to be able to buy an, a backpack ever. Yeah, okay. I'm seeing an over um, an overwhelming amount of yeses in chat, so let's go ahead and just get that out of the way. Gather our 50 wood here, and then uh, we'll be set. We have plenty of field snacks anyway, so it's not like we're going to run out of energy anytime soon. Really helps with a small backpack, I would imagine so. Yo, thank you for the uh, super chat again, 69 Infiltrator. I have a very controversial question that needs your immediate attention. Toilet paper over or under? Honestly, I, I'm trying to think of how I have it in my bathroom right now, and I don't think I could tell you. I, 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 I know it's one of those issues. It's one of those hot button issues that people get very heated about, and I can understand it. You know what? It, there's, there's definitely arguments to be had on both sides, but it's just not something that's ever really crossed my mind. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to, to take the neutral position and become Switzerland in this case. I do see a lot of love for over. I'm curious to hear like what people's arguments might be for that sort of thing. Because to me, there's like almost literally no difference. I don't understand like. I I just I just I can't really think of any. Uh, you know what? I should just. I'm, I'm going to be late to getting to the mines anyway this morning. Let's just go grab the part, the freaking horseradish and give it to George on our way over. I did turn up the music a tiny bit, by the way. Um, let me know if, it's, if it turned out too loud. But I think we're probably fine. Because I think it was, I think it was, I turned it up a little bit because I listened back to the broadcast and I heard it was a little quiet last time, so. We will see. No difference? Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no difference for the toilet paper. <laughs> you like it under because you have cats? Oh, you have those, so, so your cats will like go and like uh, pop up on the toilet and they'll just like, they'll probably give you a little side eye first if you're nearby. They probably won't even do it if you're not nearby. And then when, the moment you see them, because I know this is how cats are, I have a cat myself. The moment you see them, it's like, uh, they, they, that's when they're like, alright, it's time to misbehave. And they just start, like, going to town on that toilet paper roll. Here you go, George. That is the wild horseradish you requested. It looks perfect. I, I, I thought you were more of a leek man, but you know what? We Everyone's got to branch out at some point, so I respect it. Yo, Jenna! Thank you for the 699! Oh my goodness, that is a name that I've... You've been around for so long. Wasn't able to catch the last stream, but happy to be here now. Happy New Year and congrats on the ongoing success. Thank you so much. It really is kind of mind-blowing how things have blown up lately, but uh, I don't want to linger on that too much because it's... I feel like it's a fever dream that I might well wake up from soon. Do you want any indication of when you will get the cactus fruit? I'm happy living in the dark, Blade. Thank you. For those not in the know, Blade is the one who provided me with the seed for this, uh, for this challenge given some certain specific criteria that I needed, because going into this with a random seed, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to, to not be able to do this. Like, at all. Like, not get the minimum cost. So, huge shoutouts to Blade for uh, helping me with that, helping me sort that out. Otherwise, I would have been... I don't I don't even know what I would have done, to be honest with you. I would, I would probably still be, like, trying to scour seeds manually or something. Something weird like that. Oh my goodness, Seven, thank you for the 499 Super Chat. Just wanted to say hi and send some support. Hope your day's been good and absolutely love the content. Now to go lurk. You know what? I respect lurkers. I've seen this before from one of my favorite streamers, Dan Giesling. Lurkers, can you type sevens in chat? Just type the number seven and press enter. Just to see how many lurkers we got in here. No, I'm not calling you out. I'm honestly a lurker most, most of the time myself when I stream. Not skipping cutscenes, by the way, because I will be possibly editing these together. Look at all those sevens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, see, see, lurkers are the lifebloods of stream chat, honestly. I appreciate all the, uh... I, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the chatters a lot, too. There's an equal balance to be had there, but there's there needs to be... The, lurkers are, like, the silent foundation of every stream. All right. 
First time in the mines. Thank God. You know what? I've like grown to loathe the mines so much because of my no level up challenge and all that st and all that that entails. Like any time I'd be mining a rock, I would find something. Uh, I would find like a copper ore or coal or whatever. I would have to just like reset the day. And it's like, that's such a, it's so freeing to not even have, that's not even like on my mind now. Now it's like I find copper ore and I'm like, Pog, that's really good <laughs> because I can't buy copper ore. So, or at least I shouldn't buy copper ore. See, there we go. Oh, well, see, this is where we start to run into problems. I didn't put my chest down. You know what? That's, that's my bad. Um, let's eat this horseradish real quick just so I can get that copper ore. Yo, Abacus1234, thank you for the super chat as well. Glad, glad I got to catch a stream, love the content. I appreciate that you came out for this one. I'm having a lot of fun so far with just the uh, minimal amount of... Uh, put it right there or something, right? Yeah. With the minimal amount of uh, gameplay I've had so far, it's still already really fun. It was a great first stream, and I'm hoping it'll be a great second stream too. Inventory is full, you'll love to see it. I'll probably get rid of that wood, would be my assumption if I need to. Uh, cave carrot? I should probably grab those, huh? Oh, that coal, too. I didn't even notice that for a second. Hold on. No upgraded pick in the cavern slash volcano. Yeah, that's what I, that's, I was... Uh, the mixed seeds, I definitely want to keep that. Let's get rid of, get rid of that for now. I probably don't really need this slime either, honestly. This this daffodil is going to be burning a hole in my pocket. Let's just... I could have given that to Haley or something, but it's fine. She just, what's she doesn't know won't hurt her. Yeah, these, these, like, the lack of tool upgrades in this run is what I'm really going to be sweating. Honestly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt so bad. That, in combination with the limited backpack space, is going to be absolutely just mind-numbing by the end of this, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm already starting to feel the burn on level 2 of the regular mines. God only knows how bad it's going to be once I get into the skull caverns and the volcano. Like, oh my goodness. Alright, you can just chill there. That's fine. Haven't played this game in forever. This game, Sardi Valley, seeing a, quite a bit of a resurgence, honestly, in these uh, past few months. And that's like almost entirely why I'm here is because the game has seen such a resurgence, and that resurgence brought new like life to that uh, no level challenge video. And I'm trying, and I'm riding that wave, honestly. I'm I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not complaining about being brought back into the Sardi Valley fold. I hadn't played the game for so long. Since I did that challenge, I kind of burned myself out with that one. And now with all this new stuff in the game from like 1.4 and 1.5 that I've barely experienced, it's been a, uh, it's been really cool getting to see all the new stuff. Lava eel with the bamboo rod. <laughs> I just saw that way up there in chat. Oh my gosh, that's, yep, yep. We are gonna be having a lot of fun catching all those fish. Like I'm like Lava Eel with the bamboo rod, but like also the legendary fish with the bamboo rod. <laughs> it's gonna be a wild time, guys. It's gonna be a wild time. That's not even mentioning the insane grind that we're gonna have to do through the skull caverns, because for those not in the know, um There are certain things that we can only get from the from the uh like certain seeds and things that we can only get that we need. And the only way to get them for free is from the Skull Caverns treasure rooms at like a one in, uh, I don't know, Blade probably has the exact figure. I think it's somewhere like one in 600, 700 odds of getting certain things. It's gonna be actually like asinine <laughs> as all hell. Uh, let's go clear, let's go clear our inventory a little bit here. I am going very slow through these mines, by the way. It's it's been a long time since I've done uh, proper mine plundering like this. Dunk all this. One in six forty-eight. Yeah. Okay. So, or, or in in that range for sure. I don't remember exactly how many things I have to get that way, but it's more than one. I'll tell you that. So. That that already 
Like, one on its own would probably be enough to scare any man, or woman, or otherwise. But, uh... Otherwise non-binary, I should say. I don't, I don't know what sort of... <laughs> let's not get into that uh, conversation here, it's not the time or place. Yo, Jam Garbanzo, thank you again for the super chat. You're ba back with more, I see. Pump for the second stream, making it... Ex excuse me, making out passionately with a picture of Tim Beeb as if now tradition? I don't know how to feel about that, but you know what? You did, you did give me five dollars, so I I think I can uh, I think I can turn the other cheek and let you have your fun. At least you have us. That's honestly like a huge reason of why I wanted to stream this challenge. One out of seven hundred and two. Thank you, Blade. Yeah, it's a big part of why I wanted to stream this challenge, as opposed to the way I did the no level up challenge, where I just recorded it myself and. Uh, and it was like a very quiet time. I would like watch movies and YouTube videos and things to help me get through the time. By the way, shoutouts to like uh, Summoning Salt, um, Sieve Gaming, who else? Bismuth, he's another big one. All, all, all sorts of content creators like that for getting me through those dark times where I would just like be like rant, like grinding through the mines trying to find hardwood or whatever in the no level up challenge. But this challenge promises that it would take even longer and be even more mind numbing in certain parts probably. So I figured, you know what, now that I've got an audience for it especially, I think streaming is definitely the way to go for this. Basic retaining soil, I don't know if that's like, valuable to me. <laughs> Actually, this is a learning opportunity for me, because like I said in the previous stream as well, I've never done the beach farm. Does retaining soil work in the sand? Because I know sprinklers don't. But retaining soil, I honestly have uh, no frame of reference for that. Do you even buy seeds for money? I do. Most seeds I will not buy. There are, I think, three seeds total that I buy from Pierre's. I buy the sunflower seeds from the traveling cart. Actually, no, there's more than three seeds. There's three seeds for the community center. But then there's, like, more for, like, the flowers and stuff. It does? I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some yeses in chat for, uh, for retaining soil, I think. All right, let me let me focus this down because I'm it is getting a little late in the day. Excuse me. I'm so I'm I'm really bad at combat in this game by the way. You're going to learn that very quick. I'd like to get to at least floor 10 if I can on this run. Let's not worry about you. You missed the question? Um I want to see if anyone else answered it. I, I, I did see some yeses, but you probably have a more definitive answer of what, whether retaining soil works in uh, on the beach farm in the sandy soil. Uh, you know what? I probably want this quartz. Not that it's like a rare commodity. Do I want to eat the white algae? Probably not, honestly. I need this sap. I need like a little bit of all this stuff, honestly. It does, okay. Do you say trans rights? I mean, I'm in favor, but I'm not gonna... I'd, I'd, I'd rather keep such politically charged issues out of stream chat. I'd like this for, for this to be a place that uh, people come to get away from that sort of thing. So let's... Not that there's anything, like, wrong with talking about that sort of stuff. There are times and places. I just don't want this to be a time or place. Hope that's cool with all you guys. Hope you understand. I'm looking at stream chat way too much, and <laughs> that's that's gonna be my downfall. And I'm not I'm not gonna be able to get to the next floor for this for uh on this day. Uh, geode, probably do want. All right, I just need one more ladder here, and we'll be good. I also want, do want these mixed seeds. Uh, let's just screw the white algae. For some reason, I think I need that, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Welcome, Confused Foam. I see you saying howdy there. One of my favorite ways to greet people. Howdy. Oh, I actually see a ladder in the bottom left corner there. 
I was just about to actually like say like, you know, what, we should probably call it here and like try and escape, but thankfully I don't have to. Um, I'd rather keep the sap than the topaz because we do have a sticky bundle on this uh, on this remix steed. Uh, let's just like hold on. Do a little bit of juggling here, real quick. There we go. All right, let's just like dump all this for now. I'll sort that out later. I'll keep the retaining soil for now, and we'll be on our way. Do you do much in terms of animation canceling? I do not. I honestly don't even know how. I've never been quite inclined to learn either, but uh, I do definitely see the benefit in it. You should eat the sap. That's like the number one troll in Stardew Valley. Hey, eat the sap. It'll be funny. Uh, you do need the slime for the oil maker, but it's not critical right now. Yeah, I, like, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any like uh, like slime's not going to be that hard to come by in this challenge. I don't think. I uh, reached level forty in the mines. That was such a gauntlet in the no level up challenge. Now it's just like a quest that we can do easily. Funny how times change, huh? Eat the void mayo, yep. Pet Timbeeb? I petted him earlier, so he doesn't want to be pet, pet again. Timbeeb is very stingy with his pets. He's like, all right, I've had enough. Uh, wait, was that good, uh, good fortune? Hold on. It is. Okay, so we can probably hit up the mines again. Oh, this is what we want. Need this furnace recipe. Secret achievement to eat 500 sap. Ooh, that sounds that sounds even harder than the than Fector's challenge, honestly, because like you have to sit there and eat it all and feel bad about your life for that long. At least with Fector's challenge, you're actually like beating your head against something. You may pat once, exactly. Tim Beeb is stingy, just like Chloe. You got me there, honestly. Chloe is, I, I would say, maybe more stubborn than stingy. Um, excuse me, Robin. Swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 G for a well? Do you know who you're talking to? Politely throw this in the trash. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit. If you can slay 10 slimes. Dude. <laughs> I've already slain 10 slimes, but it doesn't count yet, so... All right, Tim Beeb, good boy. Oh, I left my mixed seeds that I got over in that uh, mine chest, so we'll have, to, we'll have to remember to bring those back and plant them. Chloe's still under seven sins arc, you know it. Still on uh, sin two of seven. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do you guys think? Is today a fishing day or a mines day? Because we just we just did the mines, but we do have good luck. Or is it something else? Should I do should I be going and trying to do something else here? I do want some inputs at some point because I'm 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 liable to just wander around forever if I don't. I see some fish, I see some mining. Mines, mines. Fishing fish. Oh, it's kind of split, honestly. <laughs> it's a little bit split. You know what? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look. I want to see if it's raining tomorrow. It's gonna be clear and sunny all day. I would have liked to fish in the rain because I can get a catfish. I think I I, I do, do think I see a little bit more mines than than fishing, and because there we have good luck, I think I'll do that again. We'll do a second day of mining because we didn't do any in the uh, previous stream, so might as well make up for it now. Did you hear that good boy? He's panting. He's so happy. You love to see it. A little extra energy. Don't mind if I do. Do 
you know how to do pulls? I do, and I was thinking about that like halfway through that mines fishing thing. And then I'm like, it's too late now, and I didn't want to bring it up because I was I'm embarrassed, but then I see someone in chat mention it, and it's, uh, I can't avoid it now. One forty four P gang, let's go. Hopefully the stream's a little bit higher quality than one forty four P, but I understand if you have to watch on that setting. I've been in that boat too before. <laughs> the sound of catching fish is pretty good. Does anyone have an extra bream? Oh, okay. See now, Clint. We might we might do a little late night fishing because of that. Because Clint is making me. He's forcing my hand. Okay, I did bring this da dan this daffodil for Haley in case I see her, but I don't know if I'm going to see her. Let's try and I'm gonna try and like speed run the uh, the fifteenth floor, and then we'll come back up and go look for Haley to give her this uh, flower. I'm not gonna be marrying Haley, but I do kind of want to dance with the flower dance because that's fun. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there. Hold on. Doesn't someone have a... Is it Vincent's birthday? When's Vincent's birthday? Hold on. This is important information. When is Vincent's birthday? I know it's this week. Is it today? I, d I was going to run back to the calendar, but that wastes too much time. I need, I need Stardew Valley aficionados to help me out here. Look in your notebook. Check for crate. I do need to check for crates on the beach farm. You're not wrong. The 10th? Today, today, it's Vincent's birthday. Frick, we didn't, I didn't get anything for Vincent's birthday. What does he like? What does, what does this little dude like? Um, um, he likes grapes. I remember that. That's the only thing, that's the, Vincent only likes grapes, confirmed. Um, shoot. Hey, I don't think he likes hay. But hello, yes, <laughs> hello, cryptography. Uh. Just a child. Snails? Snails. He likes grapes. He, does he like daffodils? He likes daffodils. Sorry, Haley. This was gonna be this was gonna be her uh like 17th daffodil. Actually, like only her fourth, but eventually to be 17 probably. But uh the birthday boy calls. Give that brat grapes. <laughs> Grapes are really good, by the way. Might be my number one fruit. I'm not even lying. It's, it's, oh! Oh! Okay. Vincent! Vincent, my guy! You know what? Alright, we'll get, we'll give Haley the regular daffodil. He wants to look for bu bugs. Uh, look for bugs on this, my guy. Here you go. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. He speaks like, he speaks like exactly like, uh, Lewis spoke when I talked, when I gave him a gift on his birthday. There we go. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's what you love to see. Perfect timing, much. <laughs> You're telling me. All right. You didn't see that, Jess. I don't think uh, I don't think Haley comes out until like noon, so we're probably fine for now to at least try and get to the fifteenth floor. By the way, I know he's like all the way across town now, but can we get some birthday cake emojis for Vincent? Birthday cake emoji. Why does Vincent talk like an adult? Everyone talks like an adult in Sturdy Valley. Everyone talks like a like a different version of Eric Baroni, strangely. Mostly because he like made the game, but you know <laughs> that's just kind of how it goes. There's all those birthdays. Oh, I see some grapes too. Nice, nice. Respect it. All right, let's just store these here for now, so I have enough, enough space. Take a crack at this. I might not. I might not be looking at chat too much here because I do want to try and get through this in a somewhat timely manner. The dwarf scroll one isn't that like super rare from those guys? <laughs> what the heck? Maybe it's not that rare. I don't know. At least, but like from a, just like a random bug, I feel like that's rare. Also, cherry bomb, nice. We can actually access the dwarf now, in theory. Which we, w we wouldn't be able to access the dwarf with our pickaxe at any point, because we're never going to have to upgrade our pickaxe. You 
the only tool we get to upgrade in this uh, in this minimum cost run is our axe. It is rare. What the heck? <laughs> you know, Chloe just she she brings all the rare things to the yard here. There was that crop fairy last stream, and now this. She's actually cracked. I shouldn't be killing monsters, I know, because, like, it's probably more efficient to look for, uh... Oh, actually, I should be killing the slimes, now that I think about it. Because of that quest from Marlin, right? 0.5% chance from the bugs. I mean, it's just that's just pure skill, honestly. Chloe is just that artisanal that she was able to identify the one bug out of 200 that held that held the scroll. That scroll is like bigger than the bug, by the way, probably. So I don't know exactly how that works. This is a nice free floor. Ooh. Gotta love that music drop anytime it happens. Um we're tossing bug meat. Sorry. Sorry, all the bug meat fans in chat. Oh, another Dougie. I do actually want to kill all these Duggies that I come across. Oh, hmm. Slimes get maxed. Those mixed seeds are too important. I do want to kill all the Duggies I come across because they have a chance to drop yams. Relatively low percent chance. And this is, like, really my only avenue to get yams, and I need at least one in order to, like, put it in the seed maker. Oh, nice. Thank you. Can't take that quartz, but we can take this. Actually, yeah, I killed the slime. Might as well. What kind of what kind of here are you hoping for in this run, Argon? Uh, here. I'm not. I, I don't know if I fully understand the question. But a good one, probably. All right. That's what I like to see. I'm going to take these mixed seeds with me this time, probably. Uh, go ahead and leave that for now. You know what? Let's bring this and this and this, and we can go like fill up Gunther's stuff. You know? What kind of gear? Oh, I see. Um. Well, my tools are all going to be very basic, except for my axe, which is going to become steel. As far as weapons go, I honestly don't know. I've, I'd like to experiment with weapons. Charlie Barley has put in a good word for the daggers. So, that might be a that might be something worth exploring. I've got two conflicting, like, uh, opinions from people that I know. Like, like Wal Walagug... He puts in a good word for the hammers. Charlie puts in a good word for daggers. I don't know which side which side to fall on. Everyone's in agreement that swords are kind of lame, though. Like, they're just kind of, like, too basic. Obsidian sword will be a good thing. That That is true. Because I'm mean, going to at least get for free. I can't buy any weapons, so... The hammer. Please, please. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm for the cacti, but uh, please cool with the emojis, not Tachi. Thank you. Hammer is best. Oh, that's, that's another argument in favor of the hammer. All right, hold on. Where? Oh, I didn't bring my daffodil. That's okay. Haley's not even up here. You have everything you need for the farm. If not, I be, we might be able to help you out. We carry a variety of useful items. Caroline, stop trying to tempt me. Alright, now Tai Chi, uh, <laughs> I need you to cool with the spam a little bit, please. Or else I'm going to have to time you out. Please view the, the chat rules in the uh, description. Oh, 
Oh, there's Penny. Alright, hold on. Sorry about that, y'all. Appreciate the chocolate, chocolate moldsley. Was that wait? Was that, mold, moldsy mania. I wanted to make sure I get get that name right. All right. Now, ooh, Abigail's here. I feel like that's rare. I feel like she's only here like one day a week. What do you want? I just wanted to talk, girl. That's so difficult. Sometimes it is. Welcome, Midnight Mob. Glad to glad to have you as part of the stream. We've got a very welcoming community here, so uh, I hope you're I hope you enjoy your time. Ooh, new reward. What do we got? What do we got? Cauliflower seeds. That's actually like pretty good. That is incredible. Yes, no glitches, so I need the axe. Uh, for those not in the know, and I'm no, I'm sure many of you do know, there is a way to use a chair in order to glitch into the secret woods. Well, glitch, quote-unquote. It's not, like, the most, like, insane-looking glitch of all time. Um, and that bypasses the need for a steel axe because you need that's the only reason you need it is to get there for the star drop that you can get. It's 6.20 p.m. My goodness, I still have a ton of work to do. You and me both. What the heck? When did it get to be 6.20 p.m.? Yeah, we are going to be avoiding glitches and uh, and that and exploits in that ilk for this run. So, just so y'all know, in case you're wondering why I'm not doing something of the, like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and dump all this for now. Grab our fishing rod. Dump this. Dump these. Actually, should I grow these cauliflowers? Is cauliflower part of, like, the quality crop? Hold on. It's not. It's part of spring crop, I know that, but I already don't I already have a cauliflower? I do. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've already put it in spring crops, haven't I? Yeah, I just need that green bean to seal the deal. What's my favorite monster? Krobus is an acceptable answer, by the way. I mean, I feel like Krobus can't be an acceptable answer, because that's just cheating. <laughs> Um, design-wise, probably my favorite monsters is, uh, I, I honestly, it might be, like, kind of a lame answer. I really like the serpents from the Skull Cavern. They're just super cool. Is there a record you can beat for least amount of money spent? There's no, like, standing record as far as I know. Thoughts on, folks, what are your thoughts on Stardew Valley Expanded? My only experience with Stardew Valley Expanded is through, uh, Charlie's current series that she's got going on. So I don't, uh, it, it looks really good. It's mostly, it's very Victor-centric in, in that, in those videos, which, you know, I can't blame her. He's kind of, he's kind of bae, but. All right, let's go catch this bream. Is that what we need? Yeah. What did he say he need? Does he want to have an extra bream? Yeah, I think I got one in my sock drawer. <laughs> who has an extra, who has, number one, who has a bream? Let alone an extra one. I guess me, but I don't count. I'm the weirdo. I'm Chloe's the weird person in town. Not like you're gonna go up to like uh like Emily and be like, hey Emily, got an extra bream? And she's like, oh sorry, I only got one. I got I, I got I already got big plans for this bream. Sorry, Clint. And Clint just gets left in the dust again. Oh. Did we get a little bit of lag? Hold on. I also see some buffering, so <laughs> I just want to make sure. Bubbles so rude. You're not wrong. 
My stream is telling me that I'm lagging. First catch, absolutely. You're not wrong. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> Just a couple small hiccups. One second, let me see if I can, like... Uh, yeah, it's being, like, very uncooperative right now on my end. Oh no, the time, 9.10. It's okay, I can give, I can give Clint the, the bream tomorrow. Oh wait, is the time moving? Hold on. Time time shouldn't be moving anymore because I clicked off. <laughs> I did. I, I, that's what that is. What you meant about the time? Okay. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. That was definitely my bad. Okay. I hate YouTube. Can you stop showing me this error? Like, I think we're fine, right? Try to fish again. You know what? I don't know why I try to fish again, but I will try to fish again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna say that. Uh, you just really like cacti. No worries, not Tai Chi. Just uh, just, just be a little bit uh, more careful with spamming it so many times next time, please. Thank you. The frames are back, not according to YouTube. Smallmouth bass, you know what? There are worse things in this world than the smallmouth bass. Why don't you just fish the entire night? You, you make a good point, actually. I should. I, I have a lot of spare energy. I actually kind of want to go check the... Uh, someone did mention I should probably go check for supply crates, though. Yeah, if it's lag behind for you guys at all, just hit the, uh, just like refresh and you should be good to go probably. Do I need to keep this smallmouth bass for anything? Probably not, huh? Actually, maybe it's good to have one on hand just in case someone's like, uh, like it's like, oh, Linus wants a smallmouth bass for his, uh, foot massage for some reason. The frame rate is dipping and it isn't doing. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me look around for this supply crate. I I, will, I did mention at the start of the stream I'm going to be tomorrow. Unfor unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it today, but tomorrow I'll be getting the equipment for like a wired internet connection as opposed to the wireless that I'm currently running. So that should hopefully help with some of these stability issues. Refresh risks ads? I actually didn't know that. Quick little peruse of these of the supply for the supply crates. You like the way I say tomorrow? Do I say it differently than other people do? Now I'm going to be self-conscious about that. But I'm glad you like the way I say it. Ooh, free coral. Don't mind if I do. No supply crates as far as I can tell. But what's this? Ooh, whoa. Chloe, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Grandpa. Rare event. It's a rare event, I'm pretty sure. I don't think anyone's ever gotten that in the history of Stardew Valley. I did know that, zombie man. Thank you. I was, uh... I was actually checking that for the smallmouth small bass earl earlier. I think I need to refresh my stream playback. It's, like, so far behind. It's fine. Let's just head to bed for now. Let me grab my, actually, hold up, Timbeam, hello. Gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, just what you love to hear.
Ooh, level one combat. Don't mind if I do. If you take a tip, if, if you take a photo in settings, you can quickly look for crates and forb jewels in the photo. I do know that, but it would kind of like be janky with the way I have my stream set up right now, so I'm not going to worry about it overly. Woes from crows? Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Placing a scarecrow on you, yeah. All right, I think we're, I don't think we need to worry about that guy. California has the same population of Canada. Is that true? <laughs> she lost her favorite axe. Well, at least I can, like, she's not asking me, to, like, hey, come get, come buy a well from me. I need to put up a no soliciting sign or something, but if you're going to be soliciting me to, like, find your things, then we're good. Uh, let me go water Tim Beebs really quick. He's always sleeping, dude. Honestly, mood, though. Yes, chill, chill vibes only in chat, please. As much as possible. Oh. Level one combat, dead run. Hold on, let me... Have a good night, Rachel, by the way. My thing is being so strange right now. I appear to be dropping a lot of frames. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Sorry, y'all, for these technical difficulties. I swear, I'm trying my very best here. Let me do this. Oh, not th not not that. <laughs> there we go. Apply. Okay. How are the frames looking, everybody? I just want to make sure that we're not like in total lockdown mode as far as far as frames go I think my stream has fallen very far behind but it's a little bit better frames are good Okay, I think I think the delay is still a little off, but that's all right. Looks fine so far. Okay, I mean we're not moving yet, so that's it's kind of hard to tell, I suppose. But <laughs> you make a good point, me. Thanks, me. Um, I don't really need this for now. I probably could have kept it, but. All right, we're just gonna keep going, hoping everything is fine, and we'll see how uh, how things shake out here. I'm sure if the stream like outright dies or becomes totally unwatchable, y'all will let me know. I can see chat; it's just that it's like a little far behind right now for me. Let me go get let me get let me let me let me get my head on straight here. You can judge the frame rate from the exclamation mark going up and down. That's pretty good, actually. That's that's kind of funny. Excuse me, Shane. Let's go grab this lost axe. I'm glad she loses it in the same place every single time. That's very helpful for me. And then, oh my gosh, look at all these spring onions, too. Give me all this good stuff. Do spring onions give forging experience? That's something I never remember. I can never commit that to memory. Are we in the past or am I are you in the past or am I in the future? That's the eternal question. 
Don't forget to look for spring onions. One step ahead of you. That's the power of stream delay. If you look at it in the right, at the right context, it really is a superpower. I can just like read your minds. What ha are we? Oh, stream died. Big freeze. Hold on. Hold on. See, this is so weird. Like, on my end, everything looks totally fine now. One second. Oh my gosh, this is this is a travesty. No, don't fish. What are you doing? This is so weird. Because like, on my end, everything looks totally cool. Like, everything, everything looks better than it had... In a long time, actually. One second. The stream is good. It died a couple of minutes ago. Now my thing's telling me no data. I have no idea what to believe anymore. Just gotta refresh, yeah. That's, that's what it ultimately comes down to. You know what? I'm here for that. Everyone having issues, raise your hand. Put up a like a hand emoji if you're if you're having issues with the stream right now. That is a good uh, thank you for that computer account one good call to action. If you can even hear me, but <laughs> all right. For now, let's just continue on. I do see a f couple hands in there. Refreshing fixed it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. I think... I think what I'm going to do, I know this is kind of lame, but I think I might just call the stream here. It's only been like an hour. Obviously, we have like two more to go. But with all these issues that are happening, I'd really like to get... I actually thought about postponing the stream until uh, until tomorrow in order, in order to get my setup going again. So what I think I'm going to do... It stutters every now and again, not a lot. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get that setup going tomorrow once everything comes in. And then I will, like, continue with, with this stream tomorrow. Do we think, do we think that's a, a, a decent idea? Because I think that's... Uh, I think I think I think that everything that I have coming in tomorrow, like I should be able to. I'll do some test streaming and stuff. We'll see how it goes, and then um, actually, I, I don't know if I I don't know if I will be able to stream tomorrow. Whatever you gotta do, King. I appreciate that, you guys. Shout me out. Shout outs to Adrian Harrington. Adrian Harrington. Sounds like the right call. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, as much as I hate to do it, we're going to have to do that. We're gonna. I'm going to go ahead and call a stream for tonight. Make sure that everything checks out. And then I don't think I'll be able to stream tomorrow, unfortunately. But we'll be back on Friday. Maybe with a little bit longer stream. Just power through it. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I think I think that that has proven to be not only like stressful for me and probably less than ideal for you because I'm constantly like pausing and looking over and being like, ooh, ooh, is the stream buffering? Is the stream buffering? Can I get like, uh, was there's like someone posted one earlier, a buffer? Can we, can we spam this in chat? Hold on. Buffer spam in chat. 
buff buffering emoji spam in chat. <laughs> Like if I'm constantly looking over and seeing like uh and seeing people talking about it or like uh or having to check it to make sure it's okay, that's not the kind of streaming experience I want to put on. So I think um can I start early for people in other time zones? It's not in my schedule right now, unfortunately, just with the way that my work schedule works out, but Yeah, I think that's probably <laughs> for the best. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anyone who might be disappointed. Who might, this might be like their first stream, and this is the experience. That's not what I want to. I don't want to put this out there. But you know what? I was worried these things might happen, and that's why I've put in the investment in order to fix it starting tomorrow. So I think it'll save me a lot of stress. I think it'll it'll make the viewing experience a lot more palatable for you guys. Honestly, even just an hour was fun to watch. You know what? I can. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you. For now, though, I think that's where we call it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm unfortunately not even finished this day, but uh, so we'll just have to come back to that one starting tomorrow. Not tomorrow, sorry, but probably Friday. But uh, I know it says quick break on the bottom, but that's just <laughs> that's just what I got here. Thanks everyone for coming out for the, uh, so sorry for the abrupt end to the stream here. Technical difficulties, but what can you do, right? It's just kind of the way of the, the way of the world right now. I will be back on Friday. I'll make a uh, community post deta detailing whether I, because I might be able to do it, uh, early on Friday. I might have a longer stream just to sort of make up for this, because this is kind of a train wreck. <laughs> Very sorry. But I hope you all understand, and I hope that next time, you know what, I promise next time, none of this, none of this is going to happen. I will be a professional streamer, <laughs> and you will see the fruits of my labor next time. All right, peace out, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you for dropping by.